making a mosaic by Corrine Thorne the kiln and here it is so we open up the lid and there's the base that's the surface the fiber paper and the thin fire paper help to stop you actually get your molten glass glass stuck to the bottom of the kiln so I'm just going to move all these pieces out of the way so that uh, I can show you all the tools and here are the tools so here we go the cutter make a nice score across the top of the glass and then we take our grosiers which I actually end up using up upside down and break the glass brilliant next up nippers these are really good for like cutting up tiny weeny little pieces or big pieces either way tweezers stop cutting your fingers and picking up fiddly little pieces and glass tack to help keep it all in place while you're making your design so back to the base of the kiln I'm going to actually layer up the mosaic design on the base of the kiln to not risk dropping it everywhere once you've actually made it all beautiful and ready to fire oh there's the score yay goal don't know why I said that Cut my glass, speeding it all up, and I'm literally just layering up all these beautiful pieces of glass in random ways, just trying to fit them all onto the base so that I actually get a mix of colours and patterns. Some are textured, some are smooth, um, but it just means that I actually get a real nice variety of colours for the final piece, even though they can come out quite pale um, because I'm going to put a clear cap on the top. Here it comes, a clear piece on the top, to um, add to my design and make it a little bit higher to six mil which is the uh, height of the glass it likes to go to oh nearly missed a bit here's my little froggy silicon um, finger protectors for when i'm picking up the kiln because the kiln when it comes out the mic oh blimey look how hot that is you can see how hot that is i'm going to leave it cool for a little bit two hours ish and then that's the piece of glass that came out all of those little pieces all melted together how beautiful so now I'm going to put my maker's mark on it so that anyone buys jewellery from me they actually can see that it's made by me and that's just a, a little design and then cat for my initials Corrine and Thorne and then I'm just about to nearly break my camera as you can see we're going to have a little wobble yep just about there nearly broke it not to worry <laughs> so basically what I'm going to do is I've marked the bale and I'm going to rough up the surface of the bale I've uh, already roughed up the back of the glass you didn't see me do that because I forgot to film it but I'm roughing up the the surface of the bale that's going to come into contact with the actual back of the glass to form a really good bond when I use the glue which I use E6000 here it is there we go nearly forgot to show you and uh, I'm going to apply an amount to the back of the glass where I want to put the bale enough to make it sort of squish out a little bit you can tidy it up um, but at least if you've got enough on there, it's going to hold it nice and secure. So there we go. My fingers have got glue all over them now. Always the way. And look like I've frozen, but I haven't. There we go. Look, I moved. Oh, yep. So now I'm going to leave that to dry. Uh, oh, look, there it is. Um, so from all those little tiny pieces of glass, white base, and the beautiful little dichroic pieces, we've come up with this mosaic. So thank you for watching. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram.